Hi, this is Kerry, and welcome to another video on Fusion. And today, I'm going to do something that uh, one of the subscribers asked to see, and that was how to do a reveal of a 3D object. And it's actually very, very simple. So this is what we're going to accomplish. So stay right there, we'll be right back. Okay, first off, little announcement before I get going into the tutorial. Things are about to change here. Uh, the channel has been called Learn DaVinci Resolve for about a year now, and we're going to expand and do a lot more filmmaking things. Lighting, exposure, tips, using gimbals, all kinds of stuff to help all types of filmmakers. So soon the channel will be renamed from Learn DaVinci Resolve to Filmmaker Central. And there's a new website to go along with that at filmmakercentral.com. It's not quite finished yet, but you can go check it out. All the videos are there from Learn DaVinci Resolve. All the new ones are going to be there. So check that out at filmmakercentral.com. I think you'll like it. I hope that you like the new direction that we're going to go. It's going to bring a lot more very cool, very useful, and very educational content to all of you aspiring filmmakers out there. So I hope you're going to enjoy the big change. I'm very excited for it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it all comes together. Let's get into this tutorial. So we're in the Fusion tab, and let's create our 3D scene. I'm going to do a uh, Text 3D, and with any 3D scene, we need a couple pieces. We're going to have a Merge 3D, a Render 3D, and we can attach that to our media out. No problem. All right, let's get our text 3D going, and I'll just call this Reveal. And um, I'll get that kind of centered up here in the screen. All right, let's go to our Transform tool, and I'm going to, um, yeah, okay, I think that'll look good. Let's rotate it a bit, and we'll have it come out from another object or something like that. Let's give it a little extrusion. I'll give it a little ex extrusion depth there. All right. Now I'm not going to go into a whole lot about building the textures and things because I've covered that in other videos. So we're going to get kind of right to this and it's going to make it for a fairly short video. So I hope you uh, don't mind that too much. So the question is, how do we get this to kind of reveal itself from behind something. Well, let's start with some keyframes. I'm going to put this keyframe here, go back to my transform node. I'll uh, just keyframe everything right there on my translation. And then I'll go to my first frame and I'm just going to move this off frame like that. So that's okay that it's not all the way off because our frame that we're going to be revealing is going to sit right here. So, and because I moved it after I created keyframes, it created these keyframes. So let's give this a little watch. Okay, super cool right there. All right, now we need to create a way for it to be hidden by something. And that's going to be very easy. I'm just going to go to a rectangle tool and I'm just going to move this into the position where I want to hide things. So maybe right, yeah, we'll call it right there. All right. Now we're going to take our rectangle that we just made, which is a mask, and we're going to drag it to the render 3D node. Oh, nothing happened. Right, because we have to invert it. Oh, now it's gone. Pretty simple. Now let's go ahead and click play. So now that is going to come out from behind the object. Now, those of you who have been kind of paying attention might be wondering, but uh, if you've got this rectangle on this render node, what happens if you add something else? Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and add a shape 3D. 
and I'll add that to the merge node and let's make this a sphere and we'll knock the size down a bit and let's go ahead and have some fun. We'll go to our templates, we'll go to our shaders and um, oh hell, we'll just use planet. So I'm going to take and click on planet to create that shader, drag that under the shape 3D and now we have this planet in our scene. So now let's go to our merge 3D here and if we move this, oh, I'm moving the whole merge 3D, didn't want to do that, just want to move the shape. Let's click on the shape and I'll move that over. Oh, and sure enough, it disappears. Well, if that's not what we want, we might have to do something about that. So let's go ahead and move this off over here and we'll kind of make that the thing that is going to reveal from behind. Well, obviously this node workflow isn't going to work because all of this is being piped into this render node, which has this mask applied. So fairly simple. I'm just going to disconnect the shape from here. We're going to add another render node off of this. Then we're going to go to a merge node because now we're in 2D space. Take this one, connect it to there, and go to our media out. Okay, so we're making some progress here. Not too bad. And if things had gone kind of backwards you and you had attached these in the different order, it would have been behind it, just like we wanted to. Now, what happened there? I'm going to go back, I'm going to hit Command T, and the text with that rectangle there is, let's hover over here, in the foreground. And our planet is in the background, so we need to switch that. So I can hit Command T on my Mac, or I can come up here and go to Swap Inputs. Now the text workflow there is behind the planet. Let's go ahead and give this a look now. Oh, it's going to be a little chunky. There it goes. Well, let's fix that. Let's go to our edit page here. And I have all these other fusion compositions I'm working with. I'm going to move those up to another timeline and disable that so it's not trying to render those. And we'll have this main timeline that we're working on. So it's only going to try and render this one composition. Hopefully that makes some sense. So we'll just give this a moment to render out. All right, well, for you, that only took a couple seconds. For me, it took a while. And let's see what we have here. Nice, nice smooth reveal behind that. Now, I didn't really need to do uh, all this with uh, this particular setup because the text would have pretty much been hidden behind there. But there are cases where you do want to layer these different components so they reveal behind one another. And this is the short and simple way of doing it. So let's drop back into Fusion here real quick. Let's do a quick summary of what we did. We have our text 3D. Did we need this merge 3D node? Nope, let's take that right out of there, right? because we didn't add anything else to the scene. Had we added lights or cameras or something else, we would have needed that. And then from our text 3D, we were just going into our render. We created a rectangle, which is our mask that we used to hide everything. And then on another workflow, we took this planet texture, added it to our shape 3D, set as a sphere, rendered that out, and then once we're in 2D, we used a standard 2D merge, just a standard merge node to put them all together in a little composition and then out to our media out. So hopefully that was fairly simple and fairly quick other than the time I had to spend rendering this with all the textures that I did there. 
But I hope you enjoyed that. And be sure and check out FilmmakerCentral.com. Again, the name of this channel will be changing soon to Filmmaker Central. And I hope this is a very positive change. Really like to hear what you guys think about that in the comments below. Let me know the types of content that you want to see that we can create for you at Filmmaker Central. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure and subscribe. Click that like button. Smash it down as hard as you can. If you don't like it, hit the, the thumbs down. Don't. It's not going to bother me. It won't hurt my feelings. But I'd appreciate you telling me what you didn't like so we can continue to improve the videos. As always, folks, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.